So Joel's gonna go ahead and sign into his work. Good morning guys, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. The boys are eating their breakfast. Today is our first day of homeschooling. Homeschool. Like the rest of the world right now, we are homeschooling or distance learning. If you've been watching the news, then you know what's going on since it's affecting the whole world right now. We have all been social distancing and quarantining. Thankfully, we are still healthy and I hope it stays that way. We've been trying to stay home as much as possible. It's definitely been a different lifestyle for us since we can't go out as much like we normally do and now the boys are home. And it might be for the rest of the year, we're not sure yet. But today is my first day homeschooling the boys. We have all our devices in packets. We're about to start after they're done with breakfast. And it's definitely gonna be an experience, guys. Remember, today is only our first day. And this is all new to me, and this is all new to the boys as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and vlog our day. And hopefully a few days after this vlog, we will have a down pat routine, and maybe some things will change, who knows? If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw how I made a little area for the boys to do their school at over by where my office setup is. Joel will be working off my computer, Liam will be working off the iPad, and Logan will be working off of a tablet that we have, and they also have packets that they're gonna be doing. I'm on iReady. It's also pajama day at their school. Pajama day at school with my mom. Yeah. This is our little setup back here, and we're gonna go ahead and start the day. All right, so Joel's gonna go ahead and sign in to his work. And then we're gonna go ahead and get Liam and Logan set up over here. What important events should you include when you recount the story, The Lion and the Mouse? It says complete the chart by writing the important events in order. So what was an important event in the beginning about this story? I don't know. You would say that the mouse was looking for a good place to sleep and he crawled on a lion, right? Yeah, it's done. Was good job, Linda. Linda, 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 Following the timeline, like we're doing reading right now, and we're gonna have to do some math. And she said that they 
are having problems with the iPads right now. So that was a little bit of a frustrating morning. It is the first day, so that's gonna happen, but we're trying to figure everything out. I had to make some phone calls because the iReady program is not working, so thank gosh I have some packets that Liam and Logan can work on because they're not able to get on the computer right now. So if I didn't have those packets, they wouldn't have anything to do this morning. So hopefully we can figure out these programs soon so they can get on the computer. Luckily, Joel's is working, but everyone's on the servers. So it's running a little bit slow here and there, but other than that, he's been working on his work. So it's 12, it's usually their lunchtime at school, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the boys some lunch so we can take a little bit of a break, and then we're gonna go ahead and finish up science. Yummy, yummy lunch. Recess and PE time. The boys are done with their lunch, so we're gonna go outside, ride some scooters, and have our PE and recess time. You guys wanna go on a big scooter ride? Yes, yeah. Alright, let's go on a big scooter ride. This way. Okay, that way. We got a scooter ride. <laughs> So you guys see this empty lot right here? Yeah. This is where mommy used to live when I was your age. But it burned down. Yep, when I was six years old, my house was here. And this mommy, is where it burned down at. And the lot has house. been empty ever since. All right, well, let's go back to the house and we're gonna drop off the camera and we'll go ride a little bit more. Okay? Was that fun? Look how hot and sweaty you are. That was some good exercise though, right? Bruh. Guys, Liam is trying to cool down after PE, drinking some ice water. Logan is finishing his last worksheet. Me and Liam are gonna be finishing social studies and science. And then he's gonna be done for the day. And then Joel is over here working his stuff. He's got two more classes left. So students will recognize that people supply goods and services based upon customer demand. Review and discuss the bold vocabulary words in the glossary. Answer questions one and two. Okay, we can do that. A group of people who live in the same place or have similar qualities or interests. Government. No, it's, we're going to take turns. Government. A group of people who have the power to make and enforce laws for a country or area. Yeah. Oh. Liam, come on, we gotta do this, buddy. <laughs> Work first, play later. Enjoying playing their games and having some screen time. What do you think of homeschooling, Joel? Oh 50 50. Bad part is the website was running a little low this morning. Probably would have finished earlier if it wasn't for that. Yeah, they were having some technical difficulties today since it was the first day. What are my teachers even saying, though? That, um, that Genuity or whatever it was called was experiencing some technical difficulties. Yeah. But it should be good now, so. I'm sure it'll all work out after a while. It was the first day. Oh, he's trying to be, he's trying to be on your team because you were beating him up so bad. Later. All right, guys, the boys are in bed. It's been a few hours. I'm super tired. Today has definitely been a long, busy day. When Dave got home from work, I ran over to the Dollar Tree and picked up a few things for our classroom area, so I want to show you guys. I also made a behavior chart, too. So here it is, guys. This is the behavior chart that I made and I picked up some stickers because the younger two really like stickers. Here's their clips with their names. They're gonna start on Ready to Learn. 
oops is gonna be like caution, think about it, means you're almost to red, you need to think about it, and maybe make it better. And then red is gonna be, uh-oh, double oops, which is gonna be the one that you don't wanna get on. If you get on red, there's gonna be consequences like no screen time after your work is done. Great choices means you're doing great. Green is good. And then purple is outstanding, which means you're doing really good. And I think I'm going to keep track of how they do throughout the week and what color they can stay on. We're also gonna do this all day, by the way, as well, not just during the school time. So we got our tablet for Logan to work on Waterford. I picked up these little bins from the dollar store. I put their markers in it, pencils, a glue stick, dry erase marker for the dry erase board, some crayons. This is gonna be Logan's bin. He has his work in this folder. I put a coloring book in here for him because he is in preschool. And then I have this doodle paper for him to do writing on. I picked up this math readiness, grades K through 11 for him. It's ages five through seven and he is five. He's also pretty advanced academically, so I really do think he can do the work in this. And I'll also challenge him a little bit. And then I found this at the dollar store, which I thought was really cool. It's a dry erase board and he can practice writing on here. This is Liam's bin. I also wanna show you guys something because I thought this was really awesome. So Liam does have autism spectrum disorder, so he really does need my help a lot with the school stuff. He's a very visual learner, and I found these in the dollar store, guys. They're called counting chips. So I would highly recommend those. I think they're gonna definitely help with him with his math so he can visually see it. And then this is a number chart his teacher gave me a while ago, which will help with him with math as well. And then I just put a coloring book in there too for him for some free time. And they have their speech therapy book in here that I had got sent home a while ago from the speech therapist. And then he has a comprehension notebook. Here's the iPad that Liam will be doing his work on. And then I have Liam a little station over here too. Same thing, my little office set up over here. This is where Joel does his work at. Pens and stuff back there if he needs them and a notepad over there and headphones for him to use. So I would say that the first day of homeschooling was a success. We started off a little rocky. I put a little schedule together for the boys. So I think tomorrow will definitely go more smoothly now that we kind of know our routine a little bit more. Today was just the first day. So you know, it was just like the first day at school when you go to school, it was just, Everything was all over the place. We were just trying to figure everything out and some things just weren't working. But hopefully tomorrow everything will be working pretty smoothly. It seems like it will be and tomorrow I think will definitely run a lot better. It's gonna be a long summer. Dang. But I'm definitely happy that they're home with me. I'm actually enjoying teaching them. So on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye guys, good night. Sweet.